everyone welcome to my youtube channel today i am going to show you how to create a pictures slideshow in your login page now let's begin first you just need to go to the file create a new project after that click on windows form application and name whatever you want i am just going to name it like demo 3 and press OK. After pressing OK, you will find a form like this. You need to make it large as per your requirement. After that, you just need to go to the toolbar and search for picture box. Drop it down to your form 1. Make this large much enough to fit the image after that click on this arrow shown here and click on choose images after that you need to import pictures all pictures which you want to make the slideshow click on import uh, my pictures is on desktop what I have downloaded from YouTube now select all the pictures and open after that you press ok now you will sh see here the image is loaded but the image is cropped so you just go to the size mode click on stretch image that so that image is fit into the picture box now you have to just copy it and paste it as much your pictures are number of pictures according to your number of pictures you just need to copy and paste it again and again just copy it and paste it over it uh, and now we just need to choose image again and select the second one for the second picture box after that you need to again paste it and again choose image and select P3 and after that select P4 and again choose image P4 okay so make sure that every picture box is overlapped with one upon one properly now we are moving towards the coding implementation and we just use one more thing that is timer in this it plays a vital role while this is the thing which keeps count of time okay so we need a login page too so we make two levels you just need to copy it and paste it again and mark it as user ID okay and second one is as password now we need two text box which takes input for both I just copied it and pasted it and one button button which perform action like verification of the user ID and password in the database and name it as login okay now we are study these topics in the further lectures today I'm going to make the slides so first so at the timer starts uh, just I just clicked on timer and it moves towards the event or the timer start so in this we use a if else condition if uh, we have not changed the picture box name so picture box name is dot is same by default name is this so first we set the condition that if picture box 1 is visible then make it 
visible is equal to false sorry false and make picture box two dot visible is equal to true in the same way we do for all other picture box okay now this is going perfectly fine okay sorry it's double equal to because we are comparing here and we just need to do this for again and again it's called to false and picture box 3 dot visible is equal to true okay so we are done with the two and we are moving towards three picture box 3 dot visible is equal to is equal to true then the condition is picture box 3 dot visible is equal to false okay and picture box 4 dot visible is equal to true right now last condition is else if and picture box 4 dot visible is equal to is equal to true then loop go inside this and picture box 4 dot visible is equal to false and again now we want to move this picture box to the one because we want looping this picture that's why picture box 1 dot visible is equal to true now the coding part is finished for this uh, shuffling the pictures but this will not work at because uh, we start the program but the slideshow is not going on because we have not started the timer at so to start a timer this timer should starts at the time project loads so we have to initialize or start the time at the <coughs> load of the project or load of the form so we will create double click on the form one so that the load event is generated now the load event is generated here you can see that the load event is generated and here we just need to type timer one dot start start and here the project will perfectly fine now our project is done now we can see that the shuffling of picture is going on but it's too much fast to make it slow you just need to right click on timer go to properties and make it uh, intervals of 1000 okay now start this interval is a bit long now here you can see that it's working properly okay thanks for watching and stay tuned we will move towards how to make login with a finite or valid credentials in the next video first we learn how to make it hard code implementation of the user ID and password and after that we will make it with the database thank you like subscribe and share with your pr friends